what we have extracted are promises from the speaker to make sure that we have ideological diversity and representation among these uh, committees. I actually think this is going to strengthen us and not weaken us as a conference. It's going to bring us together. If there are issues, if there's difference of opinion, you want those differences of opinion to be aired in committee on the front end. We actually have advanced the ball. We're not going to be having very elemental disagreements pop up over and over of course, the, across the course of this Congress. The speaker vote is the easiest vote we'll take in Congress, and, and it was pretty chaotic. Republicans are much different than Democrats. We're not just gonna line up and jump off the cliff. Are you convinced that, that we can go the entire Congress without having a motion to vacate? Well, I'm not convinced we can go the entire Congress without having it. So my question really is today is what backroom deals were cut, did they try to cut, and did they get those? The deal that I understand is you gotta balance the budget in a 10-year window. So that, that's the deal. And, and that baseline for that balancing is at 2022 levels. That does not necessarily mean there's automatic cuts to the defense budget. That defense spending at a time you mentioned our military is struggling could potentially be on the chopping block because of this deal that was made. Well, Shannon, we got a $32 trillion debt. Everything has to be on the table. While I've been in Congress, George, the debt has increased double. Where is the end of it? And there's been no mechanism in sight to rein that in. At least we have a mechanism now. They had two months to do these negotiations from the last election. And I think it's a preview of what we're going to see throughout this Congress, which is their inability to govern. It's not uh, right. weakening Kevin McCarthy. It's providing the speaker with the tools he needs for Republicans to go to the mat for yeah. the American people. I'm not going to play the what-if games on how we're going to use the tools of the House to make sure that we enforce uh, the terms of the agreement, but we will use the tools of the House to enforce the terms of the agreement.